that, that's what we, we had discussed earlier. We have a, we have a draft letter. Um, and Joe, any comment? It goes back to 1980. 1988? Okay. Um, you found a document from the early 80s that had a uh, Superfund ranking system uh, score. Hazard oh. ranking. You had a hazard ranking score. Yes. Why, why can't you present that to the EPA and say, look, the site was already scored way over Superfund level. Why don't you make it a Superfund here? You have your own document. Um, yeah, I believe we got, we did get a response from EPA from Walter Mugden. Uh, I don't remember the paraphrasing. Like something like the parameters yeah. were different back yeah. then. Yeah, it's, um, he had some kind of excuse, but but he did. We did put that out to the EPA about answering what about the ranking for the for the site. But but clearly that's that's an issue that the community and the and the CAG, you know, we need to we need to come to some resolution. Is is the you know because super fun, you know, there, there really never was a, a a fair discussion of it. It was demonized as something that would slow the cleanup down that the community didn't want. But the reality is it would give the community a voice. It would make it mandatory that the community have a voice. And so that's certainly something that, you know, we, we should discuss maybe at the next meeting and, and really, you know, put it as an agenda item and, to, you know, and really push because one of the criteria for putting a site on the Superfund list is the community petitioning it. And so the community can, in fact, petition the site to put it on the NPL. And, uh, it's, they just could. To, I just wanted to clear it up. We learned from e at a public meeting, Walter Bugden, who's the head of the Superfund for Region 2, told us that, in fact, after asking for a lot of times, I know Lisa's asked and I've asked, told us that, yes, Compton Lakes was, in fact, ranked for the HRS, hazardous, hazardous ranking score. But he wasn't able to disclose the number to us. Not until I did a follow review at DEP did I find the confidential document with the hazardous ranking score for DuPont and said, guess what, EPA, we have the document, we know the score. But they wouldn't expose that to us. Well, they, tell them about the letter. I received an email, and it pretty much was saying, well, you know, the microphone. we really, we I received an email from Barbara Finazzo from the EPA, and she had seed everybody and their brother at the EPA. I mean, you should see the list on here. And I think Dana and, and Bob were CC'd on it. But basically, it was like a slap, a hit, uh, slapping my hand, saying, well, you know, normally documents like that aren't shared with the public. I mean, basically, that's what it said. Yeah. And they I'm attached like five random And almost like they wanted me to stop making it public. And I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Bob, uh, can you make a resolution to test their pump and treat st uh, output stack to today's level to see if the level's excessive where it would require permit, require filter? So are you asking us to put together the CAG to put out a resolution to test the stack for the air stripper? Is that well, what you Yes, because Rich said they don't even have a permit because back then they said it wasn't enough out, you know, contaminants going out of the air stripper. Okay. So, so maybe you want do, so, so you want us to the resolution basically to be have to ask for current monthly testing, uh, one one time testing. What are you specifically asking the CAG for? Maybe because the let they said it was only tested when it was first fired up, which was what how many years ago? Twenty years ago. Rich, what would be what would be a reasonable request for monthly testing? Should it be tested quarterly? What would be a, what would be a, that would give you a baseline of information that full compliance that, te stack test on the current air pollution requirements. So full What's compliance. Stack? So yeah. a full compliance stack test. What was the second part to that? In accordance with today's today's regulations. Okay. So we'll put that out. Um, I'll put that up for a resolution. Can I have somebody? Is that anybody that will nominate that? No, I'll take the nomination. Okay. A second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Anybody opposed or abstaining? Okay. So we put that in as a resolution. That'll be resolution number four, and we'll put that we'll put that in, and we'll give it to EPA.